In this video, I'll be showing you how you can animate inside Roblox Studio. Animating is so useful because you can control how your NPCs and your characters work and move inside your game. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to open up a brand new base plate template. After you've got that loaded up, you want to publish the game to Roblox. You can do that by going to File in the top left corner and clicking Publish to Roblox. So this will open up a new window where you can publish your game. So I'm going to name my game Animation Test 1. And I'm going to click on this Create button down here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to insert a rig into your game. You can do that by going under the Avatar tab and clicking Rig Builder. Now this rig will be the NPC that we animate. So I'm going to insert an R15 rig with a block avatar. So here's my rig over here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the animation editor. So under the avatar tab, so the same tab that we're currently on, I'm going to go and click animation editor. So to start animating, you want to select the rig that you want to animate. So I'm going to click on this guy over here and I'm going to name my animation. So now that you've done that, you can begin animating. All right, so let's say I wanted to create a waving animation. So when you think of someone waving, you think of them bringing their hand up, waving it from side to side, and then bringing it back down. So that's what I'm going to do. So our animation starts at 0, 0, so right at the beginning. And right at the beginning, our arms are to our side pointing down. So exactly how this rig is facing right now. So I'm going to take this right hand over here and I'm going to move it a little bit and then move it back. So what this does is it creates a keyframe for the right upper arm right at the beginning of our animation. By moving it from side to side, so moving it up a little and then moving it back down, we create the keyframe which our animation will remember. So now our animation will know that the right arm has to stay on the side at the beginning. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this blue line down a bit. So I've dragged it down to 0 colon 0 6. Basically I've dragged it down 6 frames. So after 6 frames let's say I want my character to raise his arm. So we're going to raise his arm by rotating it like this. So you can find the rotate tool under the avatar tab and under this button that says rotate. You can also move his arm by clicking the move button over here. So like you can move it side to side or up and down like that. So what I've done now is I've rotated his arm up. Now we're going to play this animation by clicking this button over here. So it looks like he's kind of waving his arm by swinging his arm back to bring it up. So that's a little weird. So what we can do is just delete that keyframe by selecting it and right clicking and clicking delete. And we can rotate his arm so that it's slightly pointed forward. Like that. So basically, I guess Roblox Studio will kind of optimize and make the animation take the least amount of time. So. If I keep his arm bent slightly forward, it will rotate his arm by swinging it in the front. So I'm going to play it again and it should look like he's bringing his arm up naturally. Next, we're going to wave his arm side to side. So I'm going to drag the timeline again. So now we've moved up to 9 frames. And now I'm going to rotate his arm slightly like this. So I'm going to play it again just to show you guys. So now he's swung his arm to the side a bit. But when you wave your hand, you kind of wave it back and forth a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag this timeline down a bit. And I'm going to rotate his arm back. Like this. And I'm going to repeat that a few times. Alright, now I'm going to play it. All right, looks like he's waving his arms really quickly, so I'm going to space out these keyframes a little more. 
I'm going to play it again. Okay. All right. It still looks a little uh, quick, so I'm going to keep spacing it out. So I'm going to space it out to every third frame. All right, so I'm going to play it again. All right. So that looks a little more natural. Now, the last thing we have to do is we got to bring his arm back down. So I'm going to drag the timeline a little bit. I'm going to reorient his arm like this. And I'm going to bring it back down so that it's back to its side. Now I'm going to play the entire animation. So that's looking pretty good. All right, so if you're happy with your animation, you can go ahead and click these three dots over here. So before you publish the animation to Roblox, you need to set the animation priority. So the higher priority the animation is, the more stuff it'll override. So if you set your animation to core, it means that idle animations can override it. If you set your animation to idle, it means that movement animations can override it. So if I set the animation priority to idle and I want to wave my hand inside the game, but I suddenly moved my character forward, the movement, the walk animation would override this waving animation that I did. So most animations that you create are probably going to be a higher priority level because you don't want other basic default Roblox animations to override it. So since I don't want any movement animations to override it, I'm going to set the animation priority to action. After that, I'm going to click on the three dots again and I'm going to click publish to Roblox. So at the top here, I'm going to name my animation waving animation. Now you can't see the save button at the bottom over here, but that's because Roblox has made the window too big or maybe my laptop is too small. So what you want to do is you want to shrink the window by going at the top, kind of shrinking it down like this, and then we're going to drag it up a bit. Now you can see the save button at the bottom of your screen. So I'm going to click save. And now we've uploaded the animation to Roblox. Now in the middle over here, you can see an animation ID. Now you want to copy that ID because it's really important for what we're going to do next. So I'm going to click copy. And now we can close this window over here. Now I'm just going to close this animation editor now. And let's say you wanted your NPC to wave. How would you do that in game? Well, it's pretty simple. You can go inside this rig over here and you can add a script inside. So we're going to insert a script inside our rig. Now I'm just going to write a quick script that will allow me to play the animation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the humanoid. So we're going to do local humanoid equals script dot parent wait for child humanoid. Now we're going to create a variable for our new animation by doing local new animation equals instance dot new animation. Now we're going to set the animation ID to the ID that we had saved. But we're going to add a few words to it. So new animation dot animation ID equals quotation marks RBX asset ID colon double slash and then the ID that you've saved. Next, we're going to get the animator that's found inside of the humanoid. So we're going to do local animator equals humanoid find first child of class animator. So next we're going to load the animation. So we're going to do local animation track equals animator load animation new animation. Now you can hook the script up to whatever events that you want, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait five seconds and then I'm going to play the animation by doing animation track colon play. So you can basically hook it up to any events that you want. So you can have the animation play when a player talks to it or when a player touches it or anything like that. But I'm just going to wait five seconds and then I'm going to play the animation. 
All right, and now let's test the script. So I'm gonna switch back to the game over here, go under the home tab, and basically go under this drop down menu over here and click run. So in about five seconds, it should wave to us. And there you go, it waved to us. Hi there. So that's how you animate in Roblox Studio. If you want to learn more about Roblox scripting, check out my Roblox scripting guide for beginners video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.